<laughs> so I'm sitting here and you know you start playing Ark too much when you start seeing things. But I was doing a little bit of building and then I realized this rock formation right here looks like a face. There's two eyebrows right there. Hold on, let me get a gun out and I, just in case you can't see it. Two eyebrows, a nose, and then some sort of mouth or something. It looks just like a face. We're going to call him Frank. So we got Frank the rock face there. And we're going to actually build a little hatching area right here out of some glass walls and some uh, railings. But I've been going around the, the little island here killing ankylos for, I don't know, like three days now. In the hopes that a high level one would spawn. And finally, one has spawned. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is tame it. Because why not? We can. We should. We need to. Because I need lots of metal. I've been actually farming up a lot of stuff lately. So, we can actually live stream and have all sorts of fun with that. Now, this video is coming out after the previous live stream. So, um, so <laughs> hopefully you guys are still curious about what has gone on. After the live stream, why is there a pteranodon in the middle of you guys? What is going on here? So we need to go ahead and just... Uh, why weren't you wandering? I don't know what's going on anymore. Why? I don't even unhitch... I, must, I guess I already did that. Okay. Anyways, we need to go get the Ankylo, which is over here. I want to get it tamed up. And then once we get it tamed, then we'll go ahead and get our little hatchery built. And hatch some Argies, which is going to be pretty cool. Let's see here. We might even continue hatching during the live stream, which isn't the past for you guys, but it's still the future for me. So, YouTube's strange. <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying playing on here, so I decided to record and do the live streams. So, I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you do find yourselves enjoying it, don't forget to show your support and smash that like button. But it is time to knock out this Anki. I just really wish it wasn't all up in the Bronto. So if it hits the Bronto, then things are going to go bad. We need to lure it away from said Bronto. Come here. I hit that thing like a freaking freight truck. Freight train? <laughs> oh, I'm a disaster. Oh, man. But yeah, so if you guys didn't know already, we have started doing live streams on the channel again. And it's I'm thinking what I'm going to be doing is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday streams. Although that may change with Aberration coming out because I'm going to need to be covering all of that. So if you guys haven't already, don't forget to smash that little bell icon to get alerted to when we go live. Because I will be live streaming Aberration as well. Oh, you know what I just realized? Is we are right next to the water. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go in the water. You want to chase me up the hill, okay? Chase me up the hill like a good Anki. There we go. We need to get it away from the water. Water bad. Water sucks. It really, really sucks. Get up the hill. Come on. I'm right here, homie. Just get away from the water. Me love you long time, okay? There we go. Slowly but surely. Oh, nope. It's de <laughs> Come here, little dude. Anky spanky. Oh, did we just aggro the other one, too? We sure did. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I don't know, but we're going to get this guy knocked out. And then we're going to stick some berries up its... We're going to stick some vegetables up its butt. And then we're going to tame it. Because... Are they stuck on each other? Huh. Well, ain't that convenient. That is awesome. All right, we did it. We knocked him out. Now, we did aggro the other Ankylo. Which... Please don't get in a fight with that dude. All right. Looks like we're good. All right, are you going to de-aggro? No, you're still grumpy with me. But yeah, we definitely knocked out the other one. And maybe, maybe I'll tame up this one too so we can get a breeding pair. So that's a male. And what are you? You are a male level 132. So we're going to need another female to breed with it. But it would be nice to try and get some mutations. Maybe some stat stuff as well. Some color mutations and some stat mutations. But uh, we're going to go ahead and let him starve up. And then get him tamed because he's amazing. It's not super high level one, but it is a lot better than what I've been finding recently. 132 is not so bad. I would have liked to get a 180 because that is the max level on here. So let's look at the stats. 367.5 health, 405, or yeah, geez, wow, no, okay. 3,780 health, 367 stamina, and then 195% melee damage. Which is not bad. Oh, we need the weight. 
Is the weight super low on you? Please have high weight. 355 weight? That is Garbungo! Oh, no! That is terrible. Is anything good in here? What is that? An adobe wall? Get out of here. Oh, my God. So while we've got our Ankylo starving, I want to start building this out. So I've actually crafted up everything that we need. I believe all the electronics we're going to need are in here. So we've got our generator. And we can put that there. We've got all of our cabling, which I'm going to use a lot of cable. I need to actually craft up more cabling. Because I want to get our fridges made today as well. So we can start saving up all the stuff that we're going to need for kibble and everything. So I don't think we're going to need any of that right now. And then I'm also going to need the glass walls that I've got. And then a dino gate. So we got, we're going to need one dino gate and one th doorway. And we got exactly 20 glass walls, which we're going to need. And yeah, that should, oh, you know what? I didn't craft up any air conditioning units yet. So conditioner, we're going to need, let's see here. I need th three. Oh, do I, what am I missing? Oh, I haven't crafted any polymer yet. Okay. Whoops. Polymer. So we're going to need, let's go ahead and, oh, hello, lag. I didn't, no, no, no lag. No, that's not what I wanted. I want to make a hundred of these, okay? Craft. Is this not on? Unpowered. Oh, we ran out of gas. Oh, game. Okay, so I've actually made a whole bunch of gas up here. Oh, the struggle is real. I'm always always creating some form of disaster. It's pretty terrible. We got all the gas. I could have just pulled it, but I felt like that would be faster. I don't know why I thought it would be faster. It just is, okay? Okay. Everything is everything is fine. Put some gas in y'all. I should have probably just grabbed more gas because we're gonna need it for a generator. Bam. Oh, I can't hear it. That's so strange. I for I didn't hear it turn on. Game! Game! Keep hitting the wrong buttons. There we go. Now we're getting some polymer. Okay. Can we get rid of the, the chat, please? Go away. Thank you. <sighs> All right. So the plan is I'm going to use these glass walls, but I'm going to make them invisible because I really want it to look nice with just some railings around it. So I'm going to make glass walls all around, and then I'm going to place railings on the inside. Although I want, when I think about it, a gate in the middle. And then railings all around it. So we're going to do this. Let's see here. We can do gates, which should snap right here. And then glass walls like so. Oh, hello. Why you do me like this? I just get, I get a little ahead of myself. I get excited and then things go awry. And then we're going to make this too high so that anything we breed in here cannot run out. I should realistically probably make it like three high, but I don't think anything will run out that I'm breeding currently at two high. And then we need a generator, which we're going to put actually inside. And then we're going to use some handy dandy S plus stuff to get it connected properly. God, I need the fog to go away. Ooh, we can place it right here. Can we rotate it? Actually, you know what? I kind of like it going that way. Can we still access the inventory? We can. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. We got everything going perfectly all right and i think i should be able to get oh, i can't jump over that i need to create one of those fog things so much better We've got our little fog thing crafted up and we're living like champions now so let's see here we're gonna do that and then of course i made it the only way to get in here like this and i'm thinking we'll put our let's let's place whoops we haven't made any AC units yet. We need to make some AC units. The struggle is for realsies, but thankfully we've got all the polymer that we need now. So that is not an issue. Conditioner. We want the S plus ones. There we go. Let's go ahead and pull enough for five. Bam. Make five of these bad boys. All right. Not super fast. Me likey. Me like it a lot. Now, five should be able to hatch us anything that we're going to be able to, to hatch inside of this pen. We could, we could really hatch just about anything in here. But let's see here. So I want to... Should I just line this with it? Would that make sense? I mean, I could, and then I don't really have to wire anything else. 
Hmm. Would that look bad, though? I feel like I should probably line it against the rocks. But would that just look dumb? You know what? I'm just going to line it. Oh, I don't know. Decisions, man. I'm not going to do it there. It would look weird there. So I'm just going to put it against the rocks. So we're going to go a little bit out like this. And then these should snap nicely along here. Like so. Perfecto. Now, what we want to do is I think this might actually reach. But anyways, we're going to we're going to we're going to play it safe and we're going to put a cable here. Why can't I freaking see the cable? I want to line it up perfectly with this. Like that. And then we'll place our little box there. And then this should... Oh, it's too far away. Oh, apparently the little box attaches to the generator from here. That's cool. Okay. I'm fine with that. And let's just make sure that it actually powers everything. And then we can hide all the wires and stuff, which is the best part about Structures Plus. The hiding of the things. So it looks like... Let me see what we got going on now. Yeah. Ow, here. Oh, I don't see any lights. No lights. This doesn't look like it's powered. Unpowered. Definitely not working. Why does it attach if it's not working? That is very strange. Right, let me see if we could power the generator or the little AC units from here. Yep, it's working. Okay, and we I just got to make sure we've got all five going. Yep, all five are powered. We are good to go. Bam. Sweet. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Now we just got to get a refrigerator. We should really get a few refrigerators now that I think about it. So let's go ahead and go in here. Refrigerator. Ooh, metal ingots. That's a lot of metal ingots. Let's just make... Let's make two. I don't think we're going to need more than two right now. Bam, and we'll put the fridge, the little fridgy poos, in this corner. Actually, we'll hide the fog machine, and we'll put it... Can I get it to snap here correctly? Game, why does it look like it's off the ground a little bit? Does that look good? That's not bad. Yeah, and we'll just line this whole wall with fridges eventually. Perfect. 100% perfect. Let's go ahead and check. Do I have any vegetables on me? I do have the veggies on me. Let's go ahead and check our Anki. I don't think it's going to tame up right away, but it's at least a little hungry. Of course it's raining. It's always raining in this game. Just 24-7 raining on my parade. Ugh. But yeah, I'm super excited about the streaming we've been doing, and I'm really hoping that Aberration comes out this weekend. I'm not sure when this particular video is coming out. Maybe Aberration will already have landed, hopefully, by the time this video does come out. But, um, yeah, the streams are a lot of fun. If you guys haven't tuned into them, definitely make sure to show up. We do everything. We do breeding, we do taming, building, everything you could possibly do in ARC we're going to do in these streams. So definitely tune in. And we'll have all sorts of fun together. I really like it because I get to actually interact with all of the, all, basically all the viewers. All my long-term, long-time subscribers usually show up for that. And it's really nice because I actually make sure to try and read all of the chat. So it's a good way to communicate with everybody. And it's just an all-around good time. We also have rewards and gold and stuff like that that you can use to name dinos. That is a high-level trike. 168, I kind of feel like I need to tame that thing. Uh, we're not going to do it, though. Maybe we'll just save it. So let's see here. You are at 22% and you are full. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and just kind of keep an eye on this guy. We might need to pump a few narcotics into it, but otherwise we should be good to go. So while we are waiting for the uh, Ankylo to get tamed up, I figured it would be a good idea to try and see if we can get the higher level... Uh, Argentavis, so we can do some imprinting on it and get all the good stats transferred over. So we got a couple of eggs here. I've got a bunch more actually, but I'm really just trying to focus on getting a good one that we can then breed up for some actual good stat mutations. So so let's see what do we got here. We got 216. We need it to be 
a lot higher level than that. So 223 isn't going to be good. I mean, we can give it a shot. So our guy tamed at like 260 something. So we can try We can look at the, at the 226, see what stats it's got. What do we got y'all? So 223 or 226, 12. 402 melee damage is pretty good. The weight is the one that I really want higher. And I believe it got the weight from the female over here. Oh, I don't have any of the vanilla stats anymore. Okay, so we're going to try a couple more. So I think that one might not be so bad. We didn't get any mutations on it either. So let's go ahead and look in here for some more RG stuff. Whoa, God. Ah, I'm messing everything up. <laughs> the struggle is real. Let's just let's drop a bunch more eggs. We got 19 more. I just want to get... Because those are pretty much garbage eggs, really, if I'm breeding for stats. So I really need to get something with the same stats as the larger, more higher level one that we have. So let's go ahead and drop a couple more eggs. See what happens. What do we got here? Oh, hello, lag. Welcome back to Ark. Well, we crashed. It was fantastic. But we're back. It doesn't look like we got any mutations. But I did see a 245 when I logged on. All right, there it is. Uh, 245 should be pretty good. It should have higher stats on everything. So we've got the higher weight, which is what I really wanted. I think the stamina was about here no matter what. And then we've got the health. So I think that's going to be about... Oh, 261. There we go. That is going to be the, the one with all of the highest stats that we can get out of both of our RGs. And it's a male. Interesting. So we've got 343 health. Then we've got the weight. The stamina seems to be about as high as it's getting and 402 attack, which means this one probably has lower attack. No, it's both exactly the same. Interesting. No, it's got lower health. Significantly lower health. So we're going to keep the 261. And so this one's a male. What is, um, what is bird face? I think bird face is also a male. So we really need a female as well. Oh, man. We need to keep hatching until we get a female. Maybe we'll get a mutation out of it. Who knows? We'll just keep going then. Maybe we'll just do all the eggs that we've got for now. And then we'll we'll do more eggs during the live stream or something like that, which will be in the past. So I don't know. Things are weird. It's a little weird the way I'm doing this, but I think it'll work out. And I'm super encumbered. Let's try this again, shall we? Come on, mutations. Give me some color mutations. Something. Something I can work with. You know you want to. Come on, game. All right, it doesn't look like we got any mutations, but maybe we got a we got a 252, which is interesting. I wonder what we got stat-wise on that one. And maybe you're a female. You're another male. Sweet, just what we didn't want. Right, we can just unclaim this one then. Do we have any other higher level ones? We got another 245, 236. It doesn't look like we got any other high ones. Another 245. That's not what I'm looking for. We need more better. More better, more better. We need a female level 261 or higher. Come on, baby. Oh, 261. 261. There it is. 261. Female. <gasps> Me another freaking male. Oh, my Atlanta. The struggle. Oh, there's another 61. 261. Come on, baby. Yes, we got a female. The stats are correct. So we got all the best stats that we can get as far as the ones that we do have. So that's very good. We got very high attack on these guys, surprisingly. All right, so let's go ahead and just hatch the rest of the eggs that we do have just to see if we get a color mutation or something. Something interesting. Freaking RGs, man. I cannot get mutations on these things to save my freaking life. It is just a pain. All right, yeah, so it doesn't look like we got anything, but we did get the female we want. So we need to get that one fully grown, and then we can breed that together with our other one to breed some super RGs, which I would really like because uh, having some with... I got to imprint on them, first of all, and then also being able to get, you know, higher stamina so I don't have to rest as much will be really nice. Anyways, let's go ahead and just unclaim this, and we need to check on our... Uh, what is it? The... The, the Ankylo. We need to check on our Anki. Senior Anki Spanky. That's what we're going to name it. We're going to name it Anki Spanky. Don't don't hate. It's the best name ever for an Anki. We might need to just pump some uh, narcotics into it. 
Oh, did it wake up? Or is that it? Okay, it's just... I thought it was... Whew. I was like, there's no way I woke up. I just pumped some narcotics into it. All right, so he's at 56%. Oh, we're going to need to get some more carrots on this bad boy. I'm just going to I'm just going to put all the narcotics on there just to be safe. Better safe than sorry. Ugh. anyways, I'll be back once we get them tamed up. <laughs> yes. I was hoping to be able to imprint these as much as humanly possible. So we got 17% out of that imprinting, which is really nice. I'm hoping to get 100% if we get lucky with walks and cuddles. If we need kibble, I don't have a lot of it. We've only got the eggs for things that we have. Um, I really need to start working on getting a whole kibble farm going. I like I would have been able to tame that freaking Ankylo a lot easier if I had some Dillo kibble. But of course I don't. So hopefully between the two of these, we can at least maybe get one close to 100% imprinted. This guy's still got another three minutes. And we still got a while until uh, the Ankylo is actually tamed up. So we can unhitch this guy. Matrix is now being retired. So we need to find a good spot. You know what? We'll just let Matrix hang out in our little... Um, basically on the top of our base. We'll just let him chill out there. Let him live out the rest of his arc life there. Although the eggs... Oh, we need to get an S plus egg collector. Uh-huh. Yeah, so we'll just put him in the corner here. He's not going to be used. He can just chillax here. Well, she can chillax here. Can I jump out? Oh, I knew it was going to happen. Oh, it's so bad. All right. Can we jump this way? Thank you, game. Thank you so much. All right. So now let's see. What do we want to do? We need our saddle back. And then we need the S plus item collector. Item collector. Can we craft it? We should have enough. I, Utem. Utem collector, please. Oh, what am I missing? Oh my god, 250 metal ingots. Jesus, that's what I'm missing. Alright, so I guess while we're chilling out, I'm just going to go ahead and start farming up some more metal. So thankfully, we got a walk for the RG this time on the other one. And then what do we got for the... Ooh, we got two walks. Nice. That is some luck right there. So at least we'll have one at 34% imprinted. The other one is going to be at 17%, which is going to be really nice. We should get a nice stamina boost. Now, I think we do get a speed boost from the actual, you know, um, just it being a imprinted. I just don't know how much the speed boost actually is. Uh, of course, the other one's going to be one that takes like 10 years, 3 months, and 16 days to get the imprinting. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Do it, you stupid little... No, I love you, bird. Just cooperate, okay? Me love you long time. Well, that's unfortunate. Our other RG wants to cuddle, but it wants a freaking dimorph egg, which we definitely do not have. This guy has got another minute and 50 seconds. So this one's only getting two imprints, or one imprint. The other one's got two so far. Let's cross our fingers and hope we get lucky. Let's go ahead and check on our Ankylo real quick. I'm hoping that it should be... It's not tamed up. Never mind. How close is it? Is it even close? Hello, little RG or Anki. 93%. Do you have enough food on you? That's the wrong way to do that now, isn't it? 25? Yeah, we should be good. Plenty of food on him. Alright, so that should take about another... I don't even know how long. Forever? Another forever, and then we should be good. Ugh, so, do I have any more RG eggs? I guess it really doesn't matter, because we need to breed these two up. So, let's see what we got going on here. Oh, 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 I'm a disaster. There we go. Um, I guess, I guess we can keep this as our taming pen for now. I do need to make an actual, legit taming pen. Um, I think our farm is big enough. So, yeah. All we really need to do... I want to get these guys fully grown and start breeding some... Some freaking super RGs. I want a super RG. Ooh. We're almost ready for a cuddle. Come on, baby. Cuddle or walk. Cuddle or walk. Cuddle or walk. What do we got? Cuddle. Yeah. So what is our imprinting at? We're at 51% imprinting. Not bad. Up to 4,483 health. It's amazing. It's fan diddly tastic. So we should get a, a nice boost in melee damage. Oh, 
the melee damage is actually showing up already. So we're at 482.7% melee damage. That is pretty darn good. Not bad at all. Yes! Our Anki... Well, we're going to name it Anki Spanky. Our Anki Spanky is fully tamed up. Let's check out the statisticals real quick. What do we got here? 5,320 health, 630 stamina, and 285% melee damage with 405 weight. Not too shabby. Could definitely use a little bit more weight, but let's go ahead and craft us an Anki Saddle, which we clearly have not learned yet. Anki Saddle. Also, while we're in here... Can we craft... What? Game. Game. Why? Oh, it's got to be crafted in the thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the item collector. We should have all the metal now. Do you not have enough items for pull? Maybe we're low on cementing paste. That's unfortunate. So I def well, there's a small chance that perhaps we haven't gotten enough metal yet. But I'm pretty sure we do. So we're probably low on cementing paste. What do we got from this yellow drop? Um, a sword blueprint, which we don't need. And an apprentice kite and boots. We don't really need that either. All poopy, if you ask me. Drop the stuff. Game. Oh, hello, lag. Why is everything so laggy lately? Man, the struggle is real. So, let's see here. We need to craft an Ankylo saddle. And I think we've got like five more minutes for imprinting on this dude. Yep, 354. Okay, not so bad. Oh my god, why is it so laggy? So, so, so laggy. There we go. And I'm just going to leave the Anki up there because that's where all the metal is anyways. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Now, is this where all my cementing paste is? Oh my god, the lag. So there's definitely enough cementing paste. There's enough... Oh, you know, maybe we're just too far away that time. So, let's go item collector. What else could we be missing? Hide? There's no way we're low on hide. Alright, there we go. Bam! We did it! One magnificent item collector. I think we're just going to put it right in the middle of the whole freaking thing. We're just going to put it... Oh, you know what? Yeah, we'll put it right in the middle of this doorway right here. It seems like a good spot as any, right? Perfect! Now, we need to power it with um, propellant in the S plus industrial grinder. But we need pro we need propellant, which we don't have right now. But at least we've got the item collector made up. I'm going to go ahead and harvest some more metal with our Anki. And see if we can get this RG fully imprinted. All right, our RG is ready for another cuddle. Can we get lucky for a fourth time? Ah, parasaur egg. And of course, how do I not have any parasaur eggs? Ah, oh, the struggle. There's so many things I still need to tame up. So, I mean, 50% imprinting is better than nothing. I guess I can be pretty happy with that. Man, I was really hoping for a fully imprinted one. But anyways, everybody, that is all I've got for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like streams, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. Because then you'll be notified when I go live. But as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.